Hello, this is a very simple prototype I made in the last couple of hours. Um, I was just uh, playing around with new kinds of combat engines uh, for fighting games, and I came up with this one, and it is... Um, uh, so I've got four fighters here, and each of the fighters has four stats. Uh, and now there's some issues with... Uh, this is something that I built in two hours, so there's some issues with how it balances, how it feels, and the kinds of play... Um, you know, the, how juicy the play is. It's not really that juicy. So the idea here is that each of these techniques beats one other technique. So the skirmish beats the slam, beats the blast, beats the rush, beats the skirmish. Uh, and you can see that by the, the pinwheel that we've got running here. Um, but each of your stats has a different uh, specialty. So for example, if I were to blast, I would do the most damage. Whereas if I were to rush, I would do the least damage. But if I blast and he does a slam, then I'm going to get I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose that fight, and I'm going to take slam damage, and my blast damage isn't going to do anything. So what are the chances that he's going to slam? Well, maybe I should skirmish instead, because if I skirmish and he slams, I'll win and do three points of damage. Let's go ahead and try that. Okay, we tied because we picked uh, things that don't interact. But notice how my skirmish went up, and so did his blast. The idea is that every time you use a stat, win or, win or lose, you gain some points in it. Um, so now we have uh, a skirmish that's a high, uh, my highest stat is the skirmish and his is now the blast. And now the question is, is he going to use the blast? Uh, we could use the slam if he's going to use the blast. So let's go ahead and try that. Oh, see, he used the skirmish and he won. So now I've got a whole bunch of fours, and this is a bad place to be because we don't have any strengths and he doesn't have really any either. So let's go ahead and use a blast. It's got the, the least number of our strengths because if he uses uh, anything but a slam, our blast will come out ahead. And we won that one. So now our blast is our high value. Should we use it again? Sure, let's try it one more time. Uh, See, so he used a slam and he got us. But our blast still went up. So we can blast again, but he'll probably slam. So let's go ahead and skirmish. Yeah. I think he's probably going to slam again, so let's skirmish again. Ah! We, it was a tie, but we had a higher stat, so he came out ahead. So now our highest threat is the skirmish, So he's, he, but we also have a blast. He's, he may end up using this rush. Um, let's go ahead and presume he's going to rush. Nope. But we did win that tie. Um... You know, I'm kind of trying to predict him, and it's not working out. So let's go ahead and uh, pick the skirmish, because I think this is the best, the safest bet. Yeah, we won that one handily. And now he's down to four health. What do you think he's going to do? I think he's going to rush. So let's go ahead and, and blast. Yeah. So now we went back to the, to the character select screen, and I'm sorry, no, no win or banners, but our difficulty level went up. And what this means is that if we pick a character, um, we're going to have a much rougher time of it. Previously it was 1, 2, 3, 4. Now it's 2, 6, 5, 3. Now I can't actually beat level 3. So uh, if anyone decides they actually like playing this uh, completely barren game that has no real feedback, uh, they can let me know if they can beat level 3. Uh, and, uh, uh, and I'll be very impressed, I'm sure. Now, the fighting game actually matures once you start to introduce uh, additional concepts, additional state concepts, such as tag teams, free-for-alls, uh, ongoing situations where, uh, uh, where things get more complicated. Um, however, I haven't done enough thinking on how this fighting game would do that, um, so right now this is where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to create another prototype, either today or tomorrow, uh, which is uh, about party-based adventuring that uses the same kind of mechanic, except for instead of having these, you'd have a character, you'd have each character. So each character would represent one of the three uh, adventure tactics of magic, uh, uh, melee, and, uh, and skirmish. And you'd be able to, uh, um, you know, you'd be able to, your characters would represent them, but your characters wouldn't be equivalent to them. So there'd be a lot of interplay as to whether your characters were healthy or, or not when you'd last used a character and so on. That should be more interesting, um, but if this turns out to be vaguely interesting, this could also be developed to have more depth to it. 
uh, and some ma some manner of state. Also, it would obviously be more interesting if it were two player rather than one player against the computer, um, as the computer has a specific algorithm it tends to use. All right, that's it. Oh yeah, it's available for play on the web, uh, and I can make it available for download if anyone has real interest.